Though you can choose your best side or adjust lighting, taking selfies isn't always about being in control. For thousands of children across the UK, they can result in sexual abuse. Over the course of the conversation, she piled on a lot of compliments to me about how pretty I was and, you know, you're beautiful and you could be a model just like me. Rhiannon is now in her 30s, but when she was 13, she was sexually abused by someone she met online. I sent a topless picture and almost immediately her demeanour changed and it went from complimenting me and asking nice questions to essentially blackmail. The next morning, a man came to her house. She didn't know at the time, but this was the same person she'd been speaking to online. He sexually assaulted me in my bedroom and he took more photos of what was happening. The Internet Watch Foundation calls this the dark side of the selfie. It took action over more than 120,000 images of child abuse found online. Around 30% of those were self-generated. Of those, more than three quarters featured 11 to 13 year olds and the majority were girls. Sexual images of a child are a visual record of the abuse they've faced. These can be videos or photos young people take on their phones and share through apps like Snapchat and Instagram. They're at a time when they're easily coerced and manipulated and tricked into sharing images and doing things online. And by the time we see those videos and images, they've made their way onto uh, paedophilic child sexual abuse websites. Oi, oi, Casanova! The sheer scale of the problem means police can't deal with it alone. It's prompted this campaign by the IWF and the Marie Collins Foundation. All internet users, they say, need to understand that you're breaking the law if you view sexual images of children regardless of who's taken or uploaded them. And so the IWF is helping anyone who comes across such content to report it anonymously using this quick and simple form on its website. It could help internet companies remove images faster. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.